Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to sync new Stripe customers to Shopify. So let us begin with a small example. So this is my Stripe account. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new customer. So let's say a guy called as Jenny. Jenny Park is adding added as a customer. So this is the email of Jenny. Jenny Park 123 at the rate gmail.com and uh, then we have the country as india okay so this is the country and this is the address okay and then this is the address line 2 the city she is residing is bhopal and this is the postcode okay now we have the state okay and this is uh, Jenny's phone number okay so basically we have uh, entered most of the details so let me just uh, click add customer to add Jenny Park as a customer in Stripe so Jenny has been added so let me just straight away take you to Shopify so as to see whether we have a customer called as Jenny so let me just refresh the customer list in Shopify Yes, we do have a list. We do have the list of customers and one of the person, one of the customer is Jenny Park. So basically, your obvious question is, how did I do it? How did I manage to create a Stripe customer in Shopify? So basically, I have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that has integrated Stripe and Shopify. Now, the best part of using Public Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you by just typing pably.com in my new tab. Okay, so this is the website of pably.com. Let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pably Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pably Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so basically at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this. So basically we are going to create a new workflow to integrate Stripe and Shopify. Now before I create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So as you can see, I have already integrated Stripe and Shopify using this workflow. Now I am going to switch off this workflow. The reason I am switching off this workflow is, if I create a new workflow and this old workflow running in parallel to it, will give the problem of duplication of result. Basically, we will have the same customer in Stripe but double customer in Shopify. So that will be wrong. So that is why I have switched off this workflow. Okay, so it is actually none of your concern because we are going to start from scratch by clicking on create workflow. So I'm going to give a name Stripe. Stripe to Shopify. Let me just add customer. Now, of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. It's totally up to you. And let me just click on create so when you click on create a window appears in front of you this is called as the trigger window so now in the choose app how about we make it as stripe because we want to send the data from stripe that is why now in the trigger event how about we make it as new customer okay so new customer is a trigger event so your obvious question is what is a trigger event trigger is basically a if statement it asks a question if this condition is met what should be done for example if a new customer is made in stripe then what action should be taken by the system so basically the gist is we are just trying to integrate stripe to public connect so what i'm going to do here is first of all let me just take you to stripe and here you will find the option called as developers click this now in the developers you will find the option webhooks click this okay so as you can see i have added some webhooks now this is for your consideration i'm going to add one more webhook so basically what i'm going to do here is first of all let me just remove the http part go to public connect okay and let me just copy this this is the webhook url or the endpoint url it is asking for so let me just add this here now the description let's keep it as empty the version will remain same now basically it is asking when it should send the data the data should be sent when the customer is made so customer created and let me just click on add endpoint okay so basically we are ready with the endpoint so what we're going to do here is we basically mean it basically means that we have integrated stripe to public connect 
This means that Babel Connect is ready to catch the data when a new customer is uh, created in Stripe. So what I'm going to do here is next, I'm going to create a dummy customer. So let me just click on customer and let me just add one more customer. So basically we are conducting an experiment here. So the name of the person is uh, Mary Wright. Okay, and this is the email of Mary Wright. At the rate gmail.com. And uh, Mary is from, let's say, India again. The reason I'm filling India is because I don't know the pin code of the rest of the countries. Okay, I hope you get it. So she lives in Yes Palace. And uh, the address line two is uh, near uh, Tapsra, Takis. And then the city is uh, Bhopal. Then we have the postcode 462023. And this is the state. Madhya Pradesh. Okay, so we have entered all the details. If you want, we can also enter the phone number. So now we are ready. So let me just click on add customer. Okay, so the customer has been created. So let me just straight away take it to Public Connect to check whether the data has been captured by Public Connect. So yeah, the data has been captured. So let's explore the details. We have the data object that is customer. Then we have the city as Bhopal, the country as India, the address line 1 is Palace, the address line 2. So where is our name? Okay, yeah. So this is the email and this is the name and this is the phone number. So basically using all these details, we are going to create a customer in Shopify. So to do that, let me just click on this plus button. So when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. So this is called as the action window. Now in the choose app, how about we make it as Shopify because we want to create a customer in Shopify. Now in the action event, how about we make it as create customer, then we'll just click on connect. Now in the new connections, we have to add the private app password and the subdomain. So this is my subdomain. So basically we are going to start with the easy one. So all the characters in between HTTPS and dot my Shopify is your subdomain. So this is my subdomain, Babli, and we have the private app password. So what are we going to do with that? So we have to generate it actually. So what I'm going to do, first of all, let me just click on settings. Okay, so this is the settings page. Now you will find the option apps. Click this. Okay, so these are all the apps ready to integrate with. Now we are going to work with a different one that is manage private app. Click this. Okay, so as you can see, we have created, I have created a lot of private apps. Now for your consideration, I'm going to create a new private app. Okay, so the page is uh, getting loaded. So the idea is that we are going to create, we are going to enter some details, going to create a private uh, app. And uh, let me just show you, let me just enter a private app name. So how about I give it as um, Shopify data from Stripe. Of course, as usual, you can give any name according to your description. It's totally up to you. This is the emergency developer email. Now there is something else you have to do. Just click on show inactive permissions and we have to make sure that this is from change from no access to read and write. Okay, so let me just click on save. Click on create app. Okay, so the app is getting created. So once the app is created, we are going to take out the password and paste it into public connect. Okay, so it is showing the private app has been successfully created. Let me just scroll down. So this is your API key and this is the password. So let me just click on show, copy this, and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so let me just click on save. So when you click on save, a set of fields has appeared in front of you. The purpose of these fields is very simple. We are going to create a new customer and Shopify from the data that we have received from Stripe via Public Connect. So it is demanding two important fields, the first name and the last name. But unfortunately, we only have the full name. Okay, so as you can see, this is the full name, Mary Wright. So basically, we have to split the first name and the second name, basically the last name. Okay, we have to split the first name and the last name. So this is how you do it. You introduce one more window in between the trigger window and the action window. In the choose app, let me just type text formatter, text formatter by Pabli. Now in the action event, how about we make it as split text. Okay, so let me just click on connect. 
now we have to mention the text to split now the meant the text is basically your data so your object name basically the name of the customer so we are going to map this particular detail here you just click here and just go to the first accordion and this is your data okay so let me just scroll down yeah this is the name then we have to use the separator the separator is basically the space okay we are going to use the space as a separator so i'm just going to copy this code okay and i'm going to paste it here okay so this is my separator and this uh, should run for all of it okay so let me just click on all and let me just click on save and send test request okay so we have the result that is mary and then we have the result as right so basically we have split the first name and the last name okay so what we are going to do here is we want this particular detail in this action window so that is why i'm just going to click on connect once again okay and let me just click on save basically you have refreshed it so let's start mapping so we just click here go to the second accordion and this is the name we have the first name easy now we have the last name we click here and go to the last name okay now coming to the email address this is something we will get from the first accordion we click here and uh, this is the email and we have mapped it now the address so these are the address related fields so this is the one and this is the address line 2 that is basically the landmark okay and then we have the city so let's explore the city as Bhopal the province as Madhya Pradesh I think yeah province and then we have the zip code okay so this is the zip code before that so let me just enter the zip code so this is the zip code okay then the country is India okay so basically we have mapped sufficient details to create a customer in Shopify all we have to do is just click on save and send us request to send this data to Shopify let me do that okay so the data has been sent it's a very positive response so let me just take you to Shopify so the name of the person I think was Mary Wright so let's look into the customer list yes we do have a person Mary Wright excellent so the presence of this customer shows that we have successfully integrated stripe and shopify with help of PowerPoint. now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so here i'm just going to minimize this action window going to minimize this action window and going to minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated stripe to public connect and then you have used the text formatter basically to split the full name into the first name and the last name and then you have created a customer in Shopify so now there is a perfect flow of data between Stripe and Shopify excellent